Hi friends, it's Deanna here today, and today I am coming with another cute hack. This time I'm going to be creating a petal uh, tulip sleeve. Um, so it's one of those that kind of splits in half right here at the shoulder, and I'm just going to use a regular sleeve pattern, and we're going to draft it and turn it into a petal sleeve. I think that these sleeves are super cute, super adorable. They spruce up a dress or a top that you're trying to make, and it really is a super easy and super quick hack. So let's get to it. Alrighty friends, so what I need for this pattern is I'm going to use just some regular paper. You can use whatever, uh, tracing paper, whatever you have at hand. I need a ruler, I need something to mark with, I need some scissors, maybe some glue or tape, and I need a kind of like a slanted edge. If you don't have a curved ruler, you can really use like a plate or something that has like a slanted edge, or you can just eyeball it, that's fine too. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab any sleeve pattern. So this is a sleeve pattern out of a top that I love. Um, this is the top, um, the Discover tee. I just love this pattern, but it really does not matter what sleeve pattern it is. This one's already cut in half because it's you cut it on the fold. Um, so that's why it's cut in half. But if you have a full sleeve, you, I'm just tracing it out. And I'm not doing the greatest job, but tracing this out, but that's okay because I'm just showing you how to do it. So you can take your time if you wanna get it just exactly right. Now, if you have a long sleeve, like a full open sleeve, you can use that. You just have to draw that line right down the middle so you know exactly where your um, line, your middle of your sleeve is. Um, so then once I do that, I'm gonna cut this one out because this is the one we're going to use to create our pattern. Here I have my sleeve pattern. I'm gonna grab another piece of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna decide how much I want my sleeve to overlap. So uh, you can look and see from the edge how far your sleeve goes, like when does it start to descend, like that, uh, when does your sleeve start like making that turn. So let's say it's about three inches, it's how wide my sleeve is. Um, you can go a little bit wider, but I think three inches is a good amount to overlap. So I'm thinking about that, so I decided I wanna do three inches. Now the next thing I wanna think about as well, um, well, let's, let's do the three inches first, let's focus on that. So I'm gonna put my piece of paper, my sleeve, right on top of my other piece of paper because this is just gonna be an addition to my sleeve. I'm going to just kind of glue my sleeve on here. Now if you have like a big piece of paper that might work when you trace, when you go to trace your sleeve, you can trace it to a bigger piece of paper, but I didn't, so I'm just doing it with like printer paper, which is fine. So then I'm gonna go from that middle piece, I'm gonna measure out three inches to create a full, like my, the rest of my sleeve. Go straight out three inches and straight at the shoulder cup out three inches as well at the top. All right, so now we've extended our sleeve, that overlap, that part, that three inches that they will overlap together. Now we need to figure out how long you want this petal sleeve. Now, obviously this is the length of the short sleeve. So if you want it to be the length of the short sleeve, that's great. But if you want it to be a little bit shorter, then you would draw a line right here at the arm side. At the, I mean, I'm sorry, at the, like your seam right here. And then you would go down as much as you want it to go down. I don't know. I'm gonna go with three inches again, just because that's just my number today. We'll go three inches, but you can go all the way down, like however long you want your sleeve to be. That, that, that is your choice. All right, so once we've got that, it's already all set and ready to go. Now we're gonna grab our curved ruler or your plate or whatever it is, because essentially we're gonna go from the top and we're gonna make, create the pedal, like the pedal sleeve move, whatever, you know, that you wanna create. So we're gonna start at the top and we're gonna go down to where you want that to finish, where you want your um, sleeve, how long you want your sleeve to be. So we're drawing that out. And basically this right here is what's gonna be your sleeve. Now another thing is we're gonna need seam allowance so we can hem this sleeve because we're gonna we wanna hem it before we sew it together. So that way you don't have a raw edge unless you do want a raw edge. So you can go ahead and draw in your seam allowance already. So when you cut your sleeve out, 
you have your seam allowance for hemming, your hem allowance, I guess. That's what that is. So you would cut out the outside, which would be your hem allowance. Now, let me cut this out and we're gonna talk about what we will do next because we need to make two of these. All right, so here's my one side of my sleeve and I'm gonna do the same for the other side. All right, so I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and honestly, I'm just drawing this sleeve right on here and cutting it out. It fits here nicely, so I'm just going to draw it. I just, that's all I gotta do. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place them right on top of each other like so, because right here where the grain line is, you can't see it, but I can see it. I'm going to trace my grain line. This is my middle of my sleeve line that I had created earlier because I want to have that because that's what's going to help us overlap. Now this is gonna turn because it's, it's you're mirroring your sleeve, right? Here's your one side, here's your other side. Now we're going to overlap where that line is, the middle of your sleeve, overlap them together like so. This is how your sleeve is gonna end up be looking. See the overlap right here? That's what's gonna create that petal look. Now you've got this extra fabric right here that came out the top. You want the shape of the shoulder to stay the same as your original sleeve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it. First I'm gonna put it together and make sure the line matches up. This is the middle of the sleeve. And then you're gonna get rid of this other area. So you can go ahead and mark it. You'll be able to see it better on your own paper. And we're going to cut that those pieces off. All right, so now that we've got our pattern pieces created, um, we're going to overlap them, add that line right there, and you'll see that they match up just correctly. You don't have any extra now that you cut that out, and that's how you're going to use them when you go to sew them. The first thing you'll do is you're gonna go ahead and hem that raw edge, unless you wanna leave it raw, which is fine with knit. Um, hem that raw edge, and then after you hem it, you're going to overlap those two pieces of fabric right at that middle line, and you're going to put in a basting stitch here at the top. Once that basting stitch is uh, done at the top, you can use this pattern piece as your sleeve and you can just go ahead and add it right to your um, arm side of your pattern piece, um, of your top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go cut out my top, I'm going to cut out my two pieces of sleeve and then we're gonna put it together. I'm gonna kind of put together my top first and then I'm gonna show you how to put together the sleeve and then we'll finish up the top and I'm gonna show you the end result. Now remember, the length of the sleeve, how much they overlap, if you wanna make it like a bigger overlap and then do like a little gathering stitch right here, you can do that and then you'll have like a little gather stitch here at the top with a like a poofy maybe um, tulip sleeve that will look super cute as well and that's all up to you. Um, I'm just giving you the basics to start from and realize how easy it really is to do it. So let's get going because I want to see how this is going to turn out. Make sure when you're going to cut your sleeve that you know which one's your front so you cut them the right way. So this is the front, this is the front. So you want to cut them both face up because if you cut one upside down, it's not going to fit. It's not, you have to make sure that you cut them the right way. So label that when you're cutting. I'll start by putting my bodice together. Here are the shoulder seams and we're gonna prep our sleeves. So here's my one side. And here's my other, the same side, but like the other sleeve. As you can see, I put a, like a clip right here to show me which ones, like where the grain line, like where the metal piece is, so we're gonna match those up right there. On both sleeves, right here, match those up right here. And then this top cap right here, this overlap, should be three inches from here, three inches from here. We're going to put a basting stitch, so like put them together. And then we're going to kind of treat this as a one sleeve. So I'm gonna go do that. 
I'm just using a long straight stitch on my sewing machine to, to keep those together. And once we open that shoulder, we can put that sleeve in and we're just treating it like a regular sleeve. So right at that top line right here, we're gonna match up right sides together. We're literally just adding it like you would add your other sleeve. Now, what I forgot, I forgot to hem this sleeve. So this one's going to be raw and that's okay. But before you do this step, before you sew it on, remember I mentioned um, going ahead and hemming it, but I forgot. That's okay, it's knit, doesn't need to be um, hemmed. I'll be good. <laughs> See how that's gonna be? It's so pretty right there. Last thing is to sew the sides and attach the neckband. That sleeve is looking really good. All right, friends, we are done with this cute top and I love this petal sleeve. I will say though that I think it will look really really good hemmed because of that extra seam a lot like the seam allowance for the other hand it does hang up like very like closed up so that will make a big difference too now if you wanted to have it not so closed up you could do just two inches overlap um, so it's open more or if you wanted to be more close up you can even do more overlap um, this was just to show you how easy it is to actually like draft your own sleeve and change it up according to what you wanted to do I think the length is perfect that I kept on here um, I, I love how it turned out I hope you enjoyed this tutorial next time I'll try not to forget to hem it uh, beforehand um, and you don't forget to hem it learn from my mistakes I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe if you haven't so you never miss any of our tutorials come find our patterns at elianmac.com and come sew with me and I'll see you all next time